So we're just diving straight in. No pun intended. <laughs> this is Fishing Vacation, a Game Boy style horror game I found on itch.io. I recently received a letter from a dear old friend. In the letter was an invitation to a fishing trip. Nothing bad happened. The end. It'll just be like old times, my friend wrote. A wave of nostalgia washes over me as I reminisce. It's been well over ten years since I'd last been there. As children, we'd visit their uncle's cabin by the lake. The lake always had the largest trout you'd ever seen. Mutants. I slowly regained my composure and made up my mind. I've now I don't think I've ever been struck with nostalgia enough that I need to regain my composure. I just realized my scarf is on the back of my chair. I don't need that. Um I'll tell you what I should do though. As I'm technically between games. Firstly, I just put this around my leg. Because it helps my back, and you gotta look after your spine, because you only get one. <laughs> or you get one in several pieces, like me. There we go. I have a, a cheeky drink. From the What Am I Eating With Chopsticks Today category, McDonald's Fries. Did you Inferno, are you okay? <laughs> I don't think I've ever been hit with nostalgia quite enough that I needed to regain my composure. No, you're not okay. Okay, cool. Just check him. Uh, I immediately wrote back, accepting my friend's request. My friend's offer, even, not request. It wasn't even a request. Not knowing it would be the biggest, my biggest mistake. I should never, I should have never went on that damned fishing. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so then he says, if you're good, if you go, you're as good as fired. Anyway, long story short, I'm gonna need to find a new job. But hey, we need a break down. We need a break every now and then, right? Either way, I'm glad you could make it, buddy. Me too. Nothing bad's gonna happen, brothers. In all honesty, I forgot all about the good oldy days. Good oldy days, eh? Uh, but when I got mailed the cabin key from my uncle, all those memories hit me like a trout over the head. How's your uncle been, by the way? You know, I'm not too sure. That letter he sent was the only contact we've had with him for years. Last I saw, he was going through a divorce. He's going through the divorce. Not just a divorce, the divorce. Must have been tough, especially for my little cousin. My uncle seemed pretty happy about it, though. Ah, we're finally here. This is way too lively for anything that's happened. Way too lively. This is like a fine house. Fine cabin. Fine cabin. Uh, a bit more run down than I remember. Is your uncle even here? Well, only one way to find out. Last one in's a rotten flounder. Nope. Leave. Leave. <laughs> I wish I'd like to leave. Uh, oh, you are physically eating McDonald's fries with chopsticks. Oh, I totally get that. That that would be, if I was good with chopsticks and I had them to hand, I would definitely eat McDonald's fries with chopsticks. Because you don't want your fingers to get greasy. That's totally fine. Is it, do you, so I sometimes have bad sensory days. Like I have bad sensory kind of, I don't want to do something because it's going to feel weird on my hand. I just realized I've got a massive shine on my head. There we go. Slightly better. Um, so like eating certain foods or making certain things. I'm like, I couldn't wrap a wrap the other day because I didn't, I didn't want to feel the wrap. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I don't know why. 
I just didn't want to feel the wrap. Um, I don't know if it was just that. You just don't like getting greasy fingers, which is probably way more common. Uh, but I totally get that. Uh, what is why? What are we? What, what are we doing? It's a painting of a fish. Cool. Uh, no time to sleep. It's time to fish. <laughs> Sounds like is that a bomb? Oh no, it's not. <laughs> Dusty books line the shelves, all about fishing. Is this dude just pacing? <laughs> it's a gramophone. Play the record. Play the record. Smooth. It's a poster of a fish. Fuck you. All right, I get it. It's the master bedroom. What the fuck was that noise? Was that me? Or was that... Captain... That Was that you? Huh. There's no one here. Oh, well. More cabin for us. Yeah. This place hasn't had any visitors in a while. Yeah. Hey, looks like we still got a little daylight left. Still time for a little fishing. I'll be outside. Oh, I wonder if this predated normal fishing game or whatever. Or whatever. Normal fishing game. Normal fishing game? Normal fishing game? Normal for HIO, normal fishing game. Oh, oh, God, there's another one. There's another cursed fishing game. Oh, that looks like a Game Boy game. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, there we go. Grab those fishing poles and meet me out back. Who knew this was an entire genre? Uh, I, a note. We're leaving. Don't come looking for us. Okay, cool. This can is filled with nothing but fish bones. Sweet. The fridge is packed with tons and tons of fish heads. Okay. All right. That's one fishing pole. Just need one more. The table set for three. The plates are all pretty grimy. Ugh. 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 Oh, I can smell this kitchen. I swear to God. I bet it smells fantastic in there. I was just thinking the same thing. Fish and grease. Like a an abandoned fish and chip shop. And you if you've ever been if you're in the UK and you've been to a fish and chip shop and they're cooking fish and chips, it's great. It's absolutely fantastic. If you've been there, if you've ever had the misfortune of going anywhere where they've fried fish or chips and the cookers are off, there's that cold smell of grease in the air. It's just like ugh. Anyway, the inside of the oven is scorched all over. That's fine. Everyone's oven is scorched all over. The sink is surprisingly clean. That's where they clean the knives. What the fuck is that noise? Oh, it's the house. It's it's just the house making noise. Is this the cellar door is locked with three padlocks? Three is the number of padlocks we shall use, and the number of padlocks we shall use will be three. Four is right out. Two is not enough to keep the demons at bay, and four is too many because we keep losing one of the keys. This fireplace hasn't seen a fire in a while. Not since the murders. Read Inuit, Mytho Inuit Mythos. Read sure, why not? There are many gods within the Inuit beliefs. One such god is the goddess Sedna, goddess of the sea hers is a tragic tale with many different versions either good or bad depending on the tale each version features the same conclusion murder right i've got my that makes two now let's fish let's fucking fish what is this what <laughs> The house screeching, kill me, kill me, kill me. I'm gonna get you. Anyway, let's go fish. My only experience with fish and chips, sadly, has been over here in the States through Epcot at Disney. Disney World, I feel, would probably be pretty close. Probably? I'm not 100% sure. I live literally a stone's throw away from one of the best fish and chip shops in the area. Which is fucking awful for my waistline. Let me tell you, it is a constant struggle. 
it is always if i haven't made myself some food for that that lunchtime or whenever i happen to have an evening on my own i'm just like i could get chippy oh i could get the chippy <laughs> Uh, don't worry about worms. Tonight's bait is on me. <laughs> you use fingers, but you're getting your own bait tomorrow. I have to supply bait. I'm sorry. What? Uh, you got minnows in your ears. I got the bait. Come on. Okay, so that's where I got the bait from. I think it's kind of hard to get fish and chips wrong. You would be astonished. Astonished. It's. You'd think it was... Oh, that that's really nice. You'd think it would be easy to do fish and chips, right? But it, it's... The good places really stand out. I don't think there's ever... I don't think I've had, like, terrible fish and chips, but I've had, like, nothing but standard fish and chips. And then occasionally you'll get one that's like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Or you'll get one... So, we, like I said, we live near, like, two football grounds. So on match days... The fish and chips are sublime because they are cooking them constantly. They are, you use astonish, it's super effective. Uh, they're cooking them constantly. They're always super fresh. They're super red hot. There's no waiting around for them, that sort of thing. And they are just comp like constantly banging them out. Whereas on normal days, like the chips will have been sat there for a while or the fish will have gone a bit rubbery because it'll have been under that hot lamp for a bit, that sort of thing. So you gotta, I don't know, it just depends. But like I said, if you, if you you get like standard British takeaway and then occasionally you'll just be like, well, bam, oh God, that's really good. And then sometimes you'll go back to that place and it'll be substandard again. And you're like, ah, okay, fine. I got me. It's like they all get one good day, but they have to share it. It's, very, it's weird. Okay, what's the superior topping or dipping for fish and chips? I must know your opinion. You must know my opinion, right? Let's get let's get down to the nitty gritty here, right? If you have fish and chips, it is. Now, this this depends on your mood, but I always go. You open it up. Firstly, I don't normally get fish. I'm not the biggest fan of fish because they they normally have the skin on under the batter, and I'm like, oh, it feels gross. But again, sensory issues. Uh, so if I if I'm getting something, it's salt. And then lots of salt, and then quite a lot of vinegar, malt vinegar, the brown stuff. More salt until it kind of makes this weird chemical reaction, so like tons of steam starts coming off it. Mwah, absolutely beautiful. And then if you've got fish, a bit of tartar sauce. If you've got just chips or, you know, you can mix and match. Don't mix, obviously, but you can have both tartar sauce, tomato ketchup. I think that's the standard. Tartar sauce is a bit more of a posh, top, posh like dipping thing for fish and chips. It's normally just tomato ketchup. Any British people in or English, British, whatever, people who or lovers of fish and chips, I guess, is probably a better term who want to argue with that. Absolutely go for it. But that's my that's my recommendation. What were we doing? Anyway. Ah, just like I remember it. A bit more green though. Well, we are playing on a lame boy. Breathe it in, buddy. Now that's some fresh air. I feel like I could. It would just smell like, like, pond water. Let's christen the start of an awesome vacation. Looks like there's something right in front of us. It's gonna be a body. Go ahead and reel in a big one, my friend. Oh, oh, I see. Ah, got it. Swish. Plop. Hey. Oh. Oh, I see. Yukata. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool. Ha ha ha. Well, it's not the most edible fish, but at least we're doing our part in cleaning up the lake. Plus, if you find the other one, you got a new pair of shoes. This guy is insufferably cheery. All right, let's get back to fishing while we can. Yeah, okay, let's let's go over here. Wha bam! Oh, apparently I missed. Baloop. Oh wait, a button. You caught up. 
a four inch sponge. Ooh la la. Let's go over here. Let's go into this little crevice. Let's see what I can fish out of a crevice. Well, bam. Bloop. And now I play the waiting game. I used to go fishing a lot, weirdly. And I never really. It was. You caught a... a clam! Ooh, I've got a three inch clam. Uh, Alright, I think that's enough fishing for today. Yeah, I used to go fishing uh, with my father in law. And uh, back when I used to go fishing with him, I never really appreciated fishing. Like, I was just bored a lot. Like, this way. Cool. Can I go this way and see what this is about? Well, you'll be there tomorrow to have bed. Okay, fine. Fucking Darren Downer. Um, oh, yeah. The creepy fucking haunted place. Where has he gone? Uh, yeah, I don't I don't really think I appreciated fishing back in back in the day. Is this blood? This looks like blood or some sort of symbols. But now I'm like, I could just sit by a lake for 12 hours uh, just with a flask of coffee and I don't actually have to catch any fish. I could just sit in silence for 12 hours or with a book or with a podcast or whatever, right? Fucking sign me up, mate. Absolutely sign me up. Ah, fishing is what my soul needed. Reeling and dealing does the body go get go throw yourself in the pond. Damn it, you done? Yep. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm gonna go to bed. Is it this one? Time for bed. Go to bed. It's bedtime. One hundred percent bedtime. Oh, good. What's? Oh, day one. <laughs> it's like, why am I looking at the window? <laughs> Do I get to? No time to sleep. It's time to fish. Where did he sleep then? It's the master bedroom. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. That's going to become a fucking notification noise, isn't it? That that 100% is going to become a notification noise. I swear to Christ. Uh, fish can be undercooked and the breading soggy. Maybe the chips aren't crispy or something, but I don't. I doubt a restaurant will stay in business too long. Yeah, Diginferno, it's... It is slightly different with with restaurants. Yes, absolutely. Like if they they you know sack a chef or something like that. With fish and chip shops, people would just still eat them because that that's kind of they, they would just be like, well, this is what we've got, right? And normally, fish and chip shops are run by um, like families. So they, if if one person is bad at making fish and chips, then you know that's just kind of and they own the shop. That's just kind of your lot. I mean, you, you then don't have to. Uh, go there and eat it but if that's the only one for miles around and that's your only option and you craving it that's kind of your only option similar we used to live in a, a village um where there was one chinese takeaway and i'm i'm a fan of a chinese takeaway but this was a crap chinese takeaway but i would still eat it on occasion because i'd have the have the need for it Do you know does that make sense i'd immediately put myself off it but i'd have the need and i'd sort of satisfy that need and then i'd be like and i'm not eating this again for three months <laughs> Uh, you would have thought for sure that tartar sauce was an addition by the US because fish, anything is always doused in, tar in tartar sauce. Uh, I too will dump malt vinegar on the whole thing like an ungodly amount. I got to do it. Uh, yeah, I, I used to do that and then I just made my chips soggy and I used to like, it would constantly make me sort of go, that's a new profile picture. Uh, but now I like the inclusion of like bit of salt, bit of vinegar, bit of salt, bit of vinegar, and just doing it until you get this weird chemical reaction so that like, like tons of new steam come off of it. It's really nice. Really fancy chips now. I'm not having chips tonight. That's a sad, it makes me a sad mic. Uh, good morning. Up oh, and Adam early. Fish, uh, early fish gets the worm. That's not the phrase. Wait, what? It's a phrase. It's not, it's not a phrase. I'm leaving this, this cursed house. I'll turn this up a smidge. There we go. So do I have to go get... Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? Do I have to wait? Do I... Oh, I just have to dig. Do I just have to pat the ground? Because that's normally what you have to do, right? To get worms to come out, you just pat the ground. Oh, 
I got worms. <laughs> I got count quicker. What? It was, it was a bit of a jive, wasn't it? Eleven worms. I got worms. <laughs> They're super effective. Oh, he's scooting my ass on the carpet in no time. Let's go to his fishing, shall we? Uh, there's a blob. Is this going to be my other shoe? Splop. Does it go away from me if I do that? Uh, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Oh, God, apparently it does. <laughs> you caught a... Cat, a 12-inch catfish? That's that big. You can't, I can't even fit it on screen. It's massive, mate. Uh, let's go... What's over... No, I can't go over there. Let's catch a cloud. That cloud looks like it has a face. It's a tiny face. And... Boop. 12 inches is not that big. Alright, says you. Someone's been lied to before. Uh, tin can, 6 inches. I caught two tin cans worth of catfish. Bloop. And bloop. You caught it. Tin Fuck me. Bloop. Let's go further afield. Let's go do a thing. You're cackling, are you? Is that normally what happens when you see 12 inches? Bloop. All right, quick. Come on. Reel in. Uh, the A B A B A B. A B B B B. Ba ba ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I got a sponge. It looks like a ditto if it was like under a hot light for a long time. Really, Albert? Oh my god, I thought I was going to run out of reel then. I think the one thing I don't like about fishing is the mechanics of it. Like, you caught it. the reel and the line and stuff like that. Like, I'd want just like a, maybe like a rod. Like, I don't, I don't like the idea of like it getting tangled up or something like that. It's like a rod with a line on the end and then just like, whoosh, just do that. Like, I'd be okay with that. Whipping, I think that's what it's called rather than fishing. A starfish in freshwater pond, I'm calling Cap. It's, it's a mimic, it's fine. Oh, uh, let's not do that. A sponge again. I don't. What was? What is this game? What? What are we actually doing? Other than having a nice, lovely fishing vacation. This is just a perfectly normal fishing vacation game. There's nothing wrong with this. You caught a Cthulhu. <laughs> let's go down here. Let's. What's down here? Oh, I can move the camera. Oh, I'm so dumb. I didn't realize I can move the camera. And catch it. Sploop. This better be my other shoe. You caught a... A bat, a 16-inch bass. It's about 16 inches, isn't it? Where about that? About 16 inches. Maybe this is the game's way of telling you that you must clean the place. Oh, God, a crow. Uh, oh, there's loads of things. I <laughs> need sponges for that. Is that a is that a thing? A thing thing? What What's... Do these go away after a while? I have so many questions and no answers. I'm going to go for this far one here. Eh. And uh, wha-bam. Whee. Bloop. Bloop. Reel it in, boys. Reel it in. Always fishing. I can't even see. You caught a... a koi. A nine-inch koi. Bloop. It's weirdly rhythmic. I caught a flounder. An eight inch flounder. It's not my worst nickname. Blop. 
also not my worst nickname. Uh, you got a sardine. A three inch sardine. A three inch sardine's fucking massive. All right, I think it's enough for fishing today. That's huge. I have a tape measure somewhere. I can show you how big a three inch sardine would be. Don't ask why I've got a tape measure. I like to measure things. <laughs> Shut up, all right? Uh, hi. Another successful day of fishing in the bucket. I caught an eldritch being. I caught a prophecy. I, I legitimately read that as Elden Ring. <laughs> I swear to God, I read that as you caught an Elden Ring. Fucking hell. Oh, I'm so looking forward to the Elden Ring uh, DLC. So looking forward to it. Eldritch being Elden Ring, eh, it's kind of, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Uh, too bad my uncle isn't here to see all these catches. Yeah, we've got fucking loads of tin cans I could recycle. Um, fucking that noise. Oh, Jesus Christ, that noise. Oddly, your fiancé is across the room playing Elden Ring at the moment. Making a new character for the DLC, are they? I rinsed Elden Ring. I literally did everything. Every boss, every dungeon. I just, I couldn't. I couldn't stop playing it until I absolutely dripped it dry. <laughs> he angrily said no. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, fucking hell. Eek. Oh, it's just you. You scared me. Sorry. I just had the weirdest dream last night. You want to hear it? Nope. Okay, that's okay. I don't really care to hear other people's dreams too. I was just really freaky. All right, ready to fish? Yep, see you later. That sounds like a you problem, buddy. <laughs> Can't believe I was just like, nope, don't care about your dreams, pal. Bam, 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 bam. Get the worms, get the worms, get the worms, get the worms. Fun fact, there's a worm summoning championship in the UK. Look it up. Boink. You got worms. Oh, you need count faster than this. Eleven. Eleven worms. Ah, ah, ah. Worm Charming Championship. Yep, it's a real thing. Full of... Fucking weird ass hippie people clapping the ground. That's all they need to do. They're giving a little square in the dirt and they just clap the ground and they see how many worms they can charm. Use that in hugely italic font. Uh, what's this? Can I go here? I can. I just I'm just gonna throw it into the rock, apparently. And and catch something. Okay, cool. I, I caught a rock. Tin can! Yeah. Can of beans. Uh, sounds like a Friday night for me, really. Worm charming, are we? Uh, get, get. Don't, don't be doing that. off in this pond a 15 inch jelly fish what's all weird aquarium let there's a person there was there was a person i seen a person just up here i all right cool we've gone from happy fun time fishing adventure to suddenly fucking norwood hitchhike that's all I can think of. Sorry, I panicked. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a husband calling contest in the States. <laughs> a unicorn fish. Fantastic. I literally saw one of those a few days ago in an aquarium. Uh, those are real fish. They actually, and they do have the little, the little 
sprung on their head. Cast it. Plop it. Land it. Reel it. Cook it. Poop it. Flush it. It's the circle of fish. A lobster. As if there's a lobster in this green ass lake. I don't even think it's a lake. Is this not a, is this a lake or is this a pond? There is some suspicious fucking wildlife in this. It's gonna say you caught a whale in a minute. You caught a dolphin. It's really annoyed. Oh, speaking of dolphins, right? All aboard the thought train, because apparently I'm not thinking of anything right now, so my thoughts are just like right fucking here. I caught a Nemo! Sorry, Nemo, you look well dead. Uh, I found Echo the Dolphin on PS2, not PS1 on um, or Mega Drive or anything like that, PS2. I didn't even realize there was an Echo the Dolphin game on PS2. Uh, what? Well, I'm sorry. I just pressed the I just pressed the button. Then there was a hand. You a key? There was a fucking hand, man. Do I want to have a look at this? There's a, there's a black splob there. Is there anything in the trees? No. Alrighty. I'm just gonna... Totally normal fishing game. Totally fine. My power bar looks like I'm playing Mario Golf. I lost a word. Why? Fuck off. Yeah. Why am I losing worms? Stop, stop losing. There, it's there, fucko. No, don't. You can do it. You said I swear and got autumn. Do I have autumn mode on? There, I did it. I pre I've been pressing the button. Dude, don't do that. Oh, dang. I didn't know there was a PC video. <laughs> Me either. Me either. It looks wild. And now, fun fact. Oh, a puffer fish. No wonder I, I had difficulty catching it. I don't know why I would have difficulty catching a puffer fish, but I'm just going to say I had difficulty catching a puffer fish. Anyway, um, yeah. So, long time friends of the channel will remember that ages ago I said I wanted a way to uh, play PS1 and PS2 games better, right? Finally got a PS3, a launch PS3 um, on eBay. Not fucking easy, because they all sell out super quick, because the state of retro gaming at the moment is atrocious. Which reminds me of something else. Anyway, yeah, so I've now got a backwards compatible, yes, get that backwards compatibility. So I've now got backwards compatible PS3, oh god, I'm losing my fish. Which means I can now play, instead of plugging in my PS1 and PS2 into my Elgato, which, let's be honest, it does not run very well. Um, I can now just plug the PS3 into it and play it at a higher resolution and hopefully a better frame rate. Now, I did already do a quick test of this for... All right, I think it's a little fish for today. That's fine. Um, I did already do a quick test of this, and it does work really well. In fact, I've got photos that I can show you afterwards. Um, what, does, what was I going to say? Uh, there was a thing. There was a person. There was a person. There was a person. There was Slenderman. There was a slender. Uh, yeah, so that now means it's, it's now dead easy. And also, I'm investigating a way where I can... And this is the, the proper emulation nerd in me. I don't want to have to use the discs every time. So I'm looking at a way to put the disc into my... So I have an external burner. Put the disc into my burner. Rip an image of the disc. Load the image onto the PS3. And then use the image... But that's slightly more complicated, and uh, that's a nice to have, uh, because some of the discs are well scratched, and they don't look. They look like I might be able to get the image off of them once, if that makes sense. And there's some of them I don't want to wear out. Like there's Suicoden on PS1 uh, that is like mega rare. There's like Alundra and Silent Hill and stuff like that, that I've had for ages, so I don't want to wear them out. If that makes sense. Um, but I want, I uh, really like, oh, weekend is long enough. Only one more day. Okay. Uh, I'm wishing for more fishing. You, I'm going to 
beat you to fucking death with a fishing pole, man. Oh, I got a key! Anyway, yeah, sorry. That was completely aside. Uh, I was in a second-hand shop. Uh, the key fit into one of the padlocks. Cool. Um, and I saw... What was it I saw? It was a, a Game Boy game, of all things. Um... Oh, oh, good. It's interrupted me in the middle of the night. Fantastic. That's not going to end badly, is it? Uh, I saw a Game Boy game. I saw Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge. I want people to guess boxed, no manual. I want people to guess how much in pounds sterling that will have been. And I will give a gift to the person who gets it closest. You can Google it. It's fine. and Because I haven't mentioned the shop. Uh, but this shop does put a markup on their games. So, boxed, no manual, Game Boy, original Game Boy, Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge. Put your, put your guesses in chat. Uh, hey, are you still up? If not, then get up. How's about we do a little night fishing? Go night fishing. Yeah, cool, why not? So we got a 76 pound, we got a 200 monies. I don't know about conversion rates with uh, pounds, but I'm going to go with $250. Okay, cool. All solid guesses. I'm going to let it keep rolling for a few seconds. Uh, all right, awesome. Meet me outside when you're ready. I don't feel I don't feel like we should go night fishing. I feel like this is going to be... I Googled, so I'm not going to enter. Greeny green! It's greeny green. How you doing, man? Good to see you. You Googled it. You know where I shop. So <laughs> you would probably get it immediately. <laughs> You're just like, I know where he lives. I've been to his house. I've <laughs> I know where he shops. It's fine. I need worms. I need get me some worms. Time to do the worm dance. Time to do the worm dance. Time to do the worm dance. I need more worms to get more keys to unlock more padlocks for the holy basement. Are oh, they missed out, Mr. Worm? I better have gotten 11. But I got 10. Nine! I need to get double digits. I'm a disgrace to the fishing community. Right, so yeah, that game. 310 pounds that game 310 pounds not graded not complete without a manual and i've even got a photo of it right here let me put myself on big head mode right now this is this is how upset i am right it's not even that good a condition like look at all the scuffs at the top like that's crazy night fishing wow so this is the lake at night, eh? Neat. And there's plenty of moonlight, so I can kind of see okay. Well, okay, I can't really see X aren't the best prices. No, they're not. They're not at all. Pretty knuckles. 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 The, the, the fucking state of retro gaming today. Jesus Christmas. Uh, well, okay, I can't really see anything, but that's fine. We only need to see our big catches. You used to work at a place that exchanged video games and movies and music and random things. And yeah, it was all about demand for nostalgia and lack of inventory. Yeah, I've, I've noted. Um, so I've had Silent Hill 1 and 2 for forever. Squeezing those whales. They're, I've had Silent Hill 1 and 2 for forever. And it was the two retro games. It turns out just a sec. While I go on this magical tangent for everyone. It was the two retro games that I remember really keeping hold of through leaving my hometown, my dad going mental and destroying most of my stuff, I was having to sell a lot of our stuff because we were poor, uh, all of those sort of like bad times, right? They they still lived in a box somewhere and now they are out on display in the, in the collection. And now the minute, so I used to Google like the other Silent Hill games. I noticed that Silent Hill 1 on PlayStation 1 in good condition was normally about 50 quid. Right, so 50 quid is, what, $75? It's not a terrible price. For a PS1 game, it's extortion. But it's not a terrible price to pay. The second Silent Hill 2 remake got announced, 
the price tripled. <laughs> like, easily tripled. It was insane. Because <laughs> everyone wanted a copy. Everyone wanted the original. And they knew it was going to be in high demand. Anyway, I'll just get off my soapbox. Right, let's fish. Can I not see the things anymore? Oh, I can. They're just a different color. Got it. Bam. Bam. Yeah, and I'm one of those whales. I'm one of those fuckers who will buy one of these games on eBay if I really want it. I've got a list of what I consider to be white whale games, right? And these are games that I will buy if they're below a certain price. And I, I was telling these certain prices to my, one of my friends. It's a sucker fish. It me. Uh, I, uh, my things. Did you just hear that? Was that a fish? Sure, why not? Sure. There's a white spot in the distance. I don't know if that's something I need to be concerned about. Let's go fishing there a second. Is this a thing I need to be concerned about? <laughs> I was talking like just casually with one of my old mates about these white whale games. And he's like, well, what would you what would you pay for this? And it was a game we used to play when we were younger. And so I told him the price. I'm not going to say the price because it makes me sound like a dickhead. But I told him the price and he's like... That's fucking ridiculous. Okay, let's say Suicoden, right? Suicoden 1, for example. Um, really rare Japanese RPG. Really cool, and I have super fond memories of it. First video game that ever made me cry my eyes out because of something that happens in it, right? So I have really fond memories of it. Um, come on. Reel it in. There we go. Zombie? A better fish. It's a better fish than the last one. <laughs> anyway, um... I didn't realize how expensive... Uh, that thing's getting closer. Uh, I didn't realize how expensive it would be. And I started to see prices of like £200, £250. But these were like sealed graded. Like these were like in cellophane. These were wrapped up. So I earmarked like £100 for it. And I thought to myself, because I've got some courses online and they do reasonably well. I'm like, I can save money, right? I'm in the position where I can save money for it. Uh, so I've, I eventually saved money for it, and I found uh, a seller willing to buy it. But this is one of those things, there's a, there's a vase in the water. I should be more concerned about the face in the water than talking about fucking retro games. Um, this is one of the games that I was talking to my friend about, and uh, he said, "Why the? is that a typo? about like is, is should this be 10 pound not 100 pound and then i had to show him like the listings for this game on ebay where the people were trying to sell them for like six and seven hundred pound because they had they had shrink wrapped them themselves and he's like this is bonkers this this is absolutely he's like we used to own like two copies of this i'm like i i fucking know right <laughs> insanity absolute insanity Every time I go retro game shopping, I'm disgusted. You got a swordfish. It's a 60-inch swordfish. Right, where's that thing? Where's the thing that was looking at me? Come on, you gotta jump out of me in a second. You're not here. Well, I'll just fish it. I'll just fish it. It's fine. Sorry. Whispers. Whispers. Are there? Hi! I saw you! <laughs> I 100% saw you! Whispers from the deep. Forbidden knowledge. Yeah, deep sea anglers. Sure, sure. You're quite enjoying the tangent today. My brain is on a similar wavelength today. Good, good. I am pleased. <laughs> I did. That's just how my brain kind of works. I, I almost have to like park things that I'm talking about and then be like, I'm going to come back to that in a second. And it a fucking octopus? Are you joking me? Right, are you going to jump out now? You gotta jump out in a second. 
Surely. I'm going to run out of fucking worms. Any sec. Come on. Let's pan this way. Are you over here? Are you... No? Are you just going to... Blah! And just... Are you going to give me jump scared up PNG? Do I not have any fish to catch, actually? There are no blobs. There are no blobs? Okay. Cool. Let's just fish here. This looks safe. Boop. Are you going to be a hand? No, you're not. Okay. <gasps> Spaloosh. A clam! Oh, you should see a clam. It's three inches. Right, go. That way. Big spoosh. More keys, please. Louise. Ah, no, that way. You caught up. Stop it. Oh, I'm feeling a little freaked. Let's head back. Yeah, let's. This is fine. This is fine. This is the dead fish. This. <laughs> you have nothing to say about that? You have nothing to say about this. Well, there's a key. It's a key covered in fish guts, which I wish I didn't touch it. I bet the worms will be there tomorrow. I bet they fucking won't. Okay, let's... I'm going to unlock the door. Well, I'm going to unlock the second part of the door. I think my Final Fantasy IV PSP might be my most valuable game. Unfortunately, my Pokemon collection are all unboxed. Yeah, no, I saw... Um, Pokemon Leaf Green as well on... Uh, Game Boy Advance for like two hundred pound, but that was that was like boxed and had the manual, and it looked in like really good condition. So I would expect that to be like a hundred to one hundred and fifty plus the the CEX markup. Uh, there's one padlock left. Cool, cool. How you doing, buddy? This place is getting freaky, buddy. Feels like we're not wanted here. But the fish are biting. Don't be frightened. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Go to bed. Super surprised there wasn't something at the window then. Stunned, in fact. Stunned. Oh, f fucking noise. Hello. Well, it's our last day. I feel like I've lost all my energy to fish. Something about the lake just seems off. But we've got to end the trip on a good note. One last trip to the lake. What do you say, buddy? Sure, why not? Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking go for it. <laughs> Crows have done a number on that. Two, one, let's bop. We're gonna get big numbers today, folks. Big numbers, big worm numbers. We're gonna get big worm numbers. Dig and pick, dig and pick, dig and pick, dig and pick. Big worm, come on, big, big worm numbers. Come on, we get. Huh? What did I just hit? What? That's that's a body. What what is this? It it's just an animal skeleton. That's all. That's that's yeah. You're probably right. How have I not noticed this yet? Three fucking days I've spent in this. I think we've got enough worms. Let's go fish. No no, I want to go back here. I've already got my worms. Let's go fishing. I've only got five. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Cool, cool. Everything looks cool, yeah. Oh, tell lights. Chrono Trigger on the DS. Yeah, Chrono Trigger would probably go for a lot. I love that the um, what was it? Uh, who is it released? Uh, Mega Drive. There was a Mega Drive with loads of games on it. Oh fuck! Well, my, where's where's my brain? Where is where is brain? Where is brain? The Mega Drive Mini, thank you, Internet. The Mega Drive Mini, when they release, when they were releasing the Mega Drive Mini, they noticed, fun fact, anecdote time, anecdote time, uh, when they were releasing the Mega Drive Mini, great console, by the way, um, they realized that the prices for the Tetris, Mega Drive version of Tetris were skyrocketing, like skyrocketing, because of the hype about Mega Drive games. So to combat this, they just put the game on the Mega Drive Mini so everyone could play it. <laughs> and I was like, perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's how you do it. 
Because it wasn't part of the original lineup for the Mega Drive Mini. Blip. Oh, no. I gotta go that way. A, B, A, B, A, B. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. You caught up. Sunfish! A 100 and... I'm sorry. 150 inches in feet. It's a 12 foot fish? That's like two of me. Jesus. There's no way you just yoinked that out of the lake. You absolutely having a laugh, mate. You are that's that's ridiculous. Plop. I know I've told this anecdote before as well, but I uh, saw uh, you know, with with the same friend who was going bananas about the price of retro games. We went retro game shopping. Right? You a great white. I uh, sorry. Uh, what? <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> a, an actual great white shark. Two hundred and twenty inches. 220 inches was that 220 inches in inches in feet a 20 foot shark that uh, fishing lake that is an aquarium that's what that is you've robbed an aquarium Yeah, one of the nicest moments was when I was actually actually with someone. Uh, it, my sort of like, the fish was this big moment was when I was with my friend and we saw one of the retro games that I had earmarked quite a lot of money for. All right, shoo! Hooray! Oh, it's got a key with it. Oh, God, throw it back in. Throw it back in. Wait, there's something tied to the laces. It's a key. That shoe, I feel like... No, it can't be. Let's just... Let's just finish our fishing. Uh, okay, buddy. Uh... Yeah, one of my sort of like the fish was this big moments was when I saw one of the really rare games for sh for sale in a charity shop for like a third of the price that I was willing to pay for it. And I'm like, I genuinely feel like I'm being trolled. Like, is this if <coughs> excuse me, if this were a cartridge game, I'd say this was a reproduction, but it wasn't. It was a disc game. So I'm like a blue tang. It's part of the Blue Tang Clan. Uh, yeah, and I'm so happy that like, another human being was with me to witness that because I'm like, no one's ever going to believe that this was only this much money. <laughs> it was like a game I... Uh, I think I aim at like £150 for it because it, you never see it. And I think I found it for like 30 and I'm like, there's no way. There's no way you've made this mistake. Like, it's the, like, Princess Pizza, it's the same place that normally mark up the game. So, like, they knew exactly what it was. A fucking pike. A pike. All right, that's enough fishing for today. Cool. Well, I've got my other key, so that's fine. Uh, so they knew what they had. Like, don't get me wrong, they definitely knew what they had. Uh, but either they'd marked it wrong. There's even been times, like, it, oh, fuck. There's even been times in, like, actual thrift stores, like what we call charity shops, uh, where I've seen like a mega rare game but for like pennies and there have been times so let's say a good a, a good example is I saw a, a copy of a game that I knew would go for 100 pounds in one of the retro game shops right but they were selling it for a fiver so five pounds so I told them but I didn't tell them that it would be worth £100. What I said was you could probably charge a bit more for that. And I went back the next day and they were charging like 30 quid for it. So I'm like, okay, cool. That that feels like a really good find. And it's getting more money for charity. But I would definitely wasn't going to be like, oh, you could charge like 200 quid for that. That's You could totally go and sell that for like 100 or 200 quid. But I knew that I would have wanted the charity to get just a little bit more. Like when I'm donating stuff as well, like I'll tell them, like, oh, this was this was quite a lot of money. Like you can probably charge a little extra for this. The seller has been fully unlocked. Now I could be the asshole for that. I don't know, but I'm definitely not. Like, I'm trying not to block people out of buying it. They're still going to get a good deal if they find that game. 
they're just not I don't feel like they're going to be ripping off a charity like if it's a normal retro game shop fuck those guys but an actual charity like you're still giving a, giving money to a good cause what the fuck is this uh this this is like the chase bit from faith the unholy trinity <laughs> what the living shit is this it's a crude statue made of mud and fish bones. Cool. Grandma? <laughs> it's a start of a tunnel. I wonder where it goes. Let's not find out. Nope, absolutely not. Most big thrift stores around me are all wolves in sheep's clothing, so they can fuck off too. That's fair. Well, yeah, we've got a couple like that. Uh, the rest of the Inuit mythos. The axe connects with her fingers, chopping them off. With no way to hold on, Sedna floats down into the dark. It is said that her fingers sank, they brought forth life. Her fingers began to transform, growing and contorting. They formed into creatures that are here to this day. Now, fishers pay tribute to the sunken goddess in hopes of a bountiful hunt, bountiful hunt granted by Sedna. Got me ready to fist fight the Santa collecting donations at the Walmart entrance. Oh god. I, I hate I hate being bothered by people we live in a, a, a charity hotspot, right? There's at least three times a week and four times at weekends people knocking on the door in like questionable looking tabards and being like, Oh, you can give to this charity i mean I've, we've now got a video doorbell and whenever the door goes i will just look at my phone and i'm like nope not today because like i do give to charity like i run a business and i i will give money to charity willingly and i will shop at charity shops and stuff like that but like good god don't knock on my front door like just do not ask me to sign up one of the worst ones was has anyone ever heard of modern milkman like the the concept of a milkman isn't unknown right modern milkman was just like oh you can also order you can order milk and you can order groceries and you can order this and you can order that and i'm thinking yeah that's great but you're still gonna leave it outside my fucking house like at 5 a.m in the morning and it's still gonna get nicked i know <laughs> bottles are strewn about they are they all have paper within them the paper inside is crudely written on it says I only caught a glimpse of you, but I saw a lifetime in that glimpse. A life in which I beg and plead to send with you. Hear me, Sedna. I nearly said, I didn't feel that said the Santa. Hear me, Santa. You're my only hope. I've given you everything I hold dear to myself. My wife is no longer a hook in our mouths. Great. My daughter is with you in the majestic depths. Oh dear, please come back to me. Show me what you require. I will provide it for you, my goddess. I pray you heed my request. Let me be your one. Cool. A dirty bed. It looks like it's been used recently. Oh no. There's a tunnel. Sure, why not? Whispers. An overwhelming stench of dead fish fills my nostrils. The walls look like they could cave in at any moment. There seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel. Go further in. Save. <laughs> sure. Go further in. I think, I've, I think I've interrupted something. <laughs> the path narrows as I go further. The walls are slimy. It's hard to breathe. My heart is thumping in my chest. The end of the tunnel looks so close. The light. Go further in. Why not? Hi. You all right? Gribbly McGee. Uh, uh, Uncle Gil? <laughs> The end. Oh, ending E. Ending E? Fucking hell. Ending E. E for E. Fucking hell, Uncle Gil. Scared the life out of me. Load. 
Load. Load. You son of a bitch. Oh, it's a it's not a Game Boy game. Oh bollocks. I completely forgot about that. Of course his name is Gil. Bloop. Cool. Uh continue? Can I continue from the end of the game? Oh Jesus. I can! Excellent. It's been fully unlocked. Fantastic. Let's go back down. And let's not go in the tunnel. Let's leave. Wait, let's go in the tunnel first. And then not second. Uh, that tunnel isn't as inviting as I thought it was. Wait, what? It's a crude statue. Sweet. Yep, got that. Cool. Bottles are filled with... Yep, cool. Uh, the rest of the thing. Yep, got that. That tunnel isn't as inviting as I thought it was. Wait, so I can't go back in it? A dirty bed? Huh, interesting. So do I just leave? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow, this place isn't creepy at all. Let's make like fishermen and get our basses out of here. Jesus. Yeah, sure, let's, let's go. I'd like to not be here anymore. Thanks. All right, that's everything. Let's leave quickly. Hey, buddy, I left the keys inside. That, that sounds like your issue, mate. Could you get them? They're near the sink. No? So you leave them? No. You left them on the furthest spot from the door? You fucker. Sink. All right, I got the car keys. Let's get out of here. Oh, nope, there's a there's a person. There's a thing outside. <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> Why do you sound like a scorpion? Get over here. Wait, what? I'm at the lake? Oh, he got me. No, what? What? Oh, hi. Hi, Sedna. You all right? Ending D for damn Sedna, you scary. All right, continue. Fishing vacation. Cool. All right, that's everything. Let's get out of here quickly. Cool. Excellent. Hey, buddy, I left the keys inside because I'm a fucking schmuck. Let me just. Oh, I can't turn the radio on. Can I just go back in here? No, I can't. No, that's, so my only option is escape now. Escape. Leave, leave, leave quicker. <laughs> oh, I fucked it. I absolutely fucked it. I'm at the lake? No. No, not for long, mate. Not for long at all. I mistimed my turn. Here's Sedna. I like a little wink at the end. <laughs> a little higher. Uh, continue. Yeah, cool. Let's let's try and actually escape this time, shall we? Okay. Yeah, I left the keys inside because you're a fucking idiot. Uh, can I? I wonder if I can loop them around the table. Is that a thing I can do? I'm a bit too far away from the table. Oh my god, no, I can't. <laughs> no, definitely not. Definitely not. It is 100% a demon. It's definitely a demon. Jesus. I mean, I had to try, right? I definitely had to try. Ending D for... Damn it. I've just realized I've not made one clip. One one clip during this entire stream. But to be fair, my confabulation clips are doing pretty well. So I think they're and they're queued up for the next like four weeks. So I think I'm gonna be just fine. Uh grab keys. Right, cool. <laughs> No, I fucked it again. Stop doing a double step, you absolute pillock. 
You nitwit. Come on. Can I... Is there any way I can just quit? Oh my god, what did I press? Oh my god, I can change the colour. I can change... Oh my... It stopped, it stopped capturing. It stopped capturing completely. Wind... Oh, it's fucking gone. <laughs> Fishing vacation. Thank you. Uh, can I undo what I just did, please? Is that a thing? Is it this? It's that. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Jeez, fucking Christ. I can change the color and the background. <laughs> I now don't know what the original color was. I think it was that. I think. I'm not sure. I just, I just, I pressed buttons. Sorry. So what? Ooh, purple water. Psychedelic, man. Real psychedelic. Uh, let's, for continuity, let's try and get back. Is, is it that one? It might be that one. No, it's... Uh, uh, that one. Maybe. I can't actually remember. That one. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. Jesus Christ, that was embarrassing. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Let's try and not die this time. All right, let's just try and not die. All right, I got the keys. Let's go. Go, 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 Fucking go. Fucking leave. Drive. We sped home after that, not saying much to each other. Once we got far enough away from that place to finally start to decompress, we collected our thoughts and alerted the police about what we found at the cabin. Dun, 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 dun. It's been a while since I've last heard from my friend. They informed me once the police read the note in the bowl, they searched the cabin from top to bottom, but there's no, there were no signs of the uncle's whereabouts. That part of the mountains is now blocked off to the public. Since the murders. They say the lake was combed over every inch of its floor by a diving expedition conducted by the police. The divers found nothing within the lake depths. Well, they're rubbish, aren't they? We found loads. The only thing they could catch were some of the largest trout they'd ever seen. <laughs> so what's ending B then? Oh, now I need to know. So if I continue now... Oh, God, this is the worst asthma. All right, everything's good. Let's go. Okay, sweet. So now, what? How? Wait, I could go further than that a second ago. What's going on here? Absolutely nothing. So you fucked up and left the keys. I don't want to go back in. What can we do here to stop this? Nothing. There's nothing we can do here. Can I go in the bedroom? Nope. Can I go into this bedroom? Can I just go to sleep? Nope. I can't interact with anything, can I? The fire? No. The the shelf? No. What's this? Is this a mask of some sort? The note? The bin? The fridge? The cooker? Oh no, I picked up the keys! Oh, dum dum. Did I get anything C? No, I didn't actually. I've also locked the game? What? I've locked the, ga the game completely? The game is broken? <laughs> There's... Oh, I can change the colour. That's cool. I can do that. But I can't actually move. Which is weird. I also want it back like this. Uh, Did I get any C? No, I might not have gotten any C, actually. Alright, I'll tell you what. What is this game called again? I've completely forgotten. Fishing. Vacation. Endings. No, just, just, re just explain them to me. Just don't, you don't need to tell me, you don't need to show me the endings. Right. Endings, 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 endings. Endings, 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 endings. Uh, spoilers. Ending A to D. Catch the second shoe in order to get the last key to open and explore the cellar. Once you exit the cellar, leave the cabin. You'll be asked to go back inside to find the keys. Once you get the keys, you'll be attacked by a monster. Ending A. Escape the game and enjoy the ending. Ending D, get caught by the monster. Ending B, two of two. What's ending C? 
Ah, there we go. Ending B. Make sure you don't, do not receive all three keys before finishing day three and finish the game. This can easily be done by not catching all the fish on day two and by not picking up the key on night two. Ending C. When given the option to go night fishing, decline and finish the game. Excellent. Cool. GG, everyone. GG. That was fun, wasn't it? And look, we get a nice little disco show. <laughs>